Hi, I'm Melissa. Thank you for stopping by my YouTube channel. Today's video is going to be another fall beauty trend from the runway, which is a pink eye with a matching pink lip. So keep watching. I'm starting by a applying Becca's Ever Matte Poreless Primer on my face. Whoa. That just exploded on my hair. Crazy things be going on here. Exploding primers. This definitely does not feel super smooth to me when I'm applying it. I am using Lancome's Tiens Idol Ultra Wear Camouflage Concealer in the color Bisque Warm 250. And I have a cold today, so I'm just going to be applying concealer everywhere I want it. And I'm definitely going to be focusing on my nose because it's extra red. I keep having a weird shooting pain in my arm. Which is freaking me out. And I'm also applying a little bit on my eyes. So and now that I have applied concealer in those areas of my face where I wanted a little extra coverage, I'm going in with Make Sense's Color Correcting Tinted Moisturizer in the color Medium. And so this is a color correction cream that has a sheer coverage, but it still helps, you know, with redness and things like that. Next, I'm using a little bit of Too Faced I Want Candy Banana Pudding Face Powder. And I absolutely love this face powder. It just brightens your face and it also makes your skin look more perfect. So I'm not going for a super made up look here. So I'm just applying a little bit of this powder. You guys, I seriously just went through one of the most traumatizing things that has happened to me in a long time. I kept feeling this sting, or I didn't know what it was, like burning or whatever in my arm here this morning. And I checked there, I couldn't find anything. It was right after I put this cream sweater on that I thought would look good with the makeup look I was doing. I just pulled that out of my closet. Yes, I have not worn that sweater in a very long time because we're getting into fall, so it's cooler, which is why I was pulling that sweater out of my closet. It happened several times and I thought maybe I slept funny and it was like a nerve thing or whatever. And then I found this. I do not even know what this freaking thing is, if it's a millipede, centipede, whatever. It was stuck in my sweater and stung me like at least freaking four times before I found the thing. Obviously not wearing that sweater. Um, I have never had anything like this happen to me. It's Saturday, I got up early because I wanted to film a makeup video because I need to film a makeup video for next week. and this is what freaking happened to me. Now obviously I put it in this thing because I figure if I start having a reaction or something I can show them what it was. I don't know, you can't really see anything on my arm but it still hurts where it stung me. This is seriously insane and now I'm like, what, do I freaking have an infestation of these? Are they everywhere? Do I have to check all my clothes now before I put them on to make sure somebody's not in them? I mean, nothing like this has ever happened to me in my life. And, oh my gosh, it's just so gross. So, I fully inspected um, this sweater, it's my mom's, before I put it on because I am so traumatized. But, I am going to move forward and still finish up my makeup look because I got up super early to do this. So moving on to happier things like makeup. I have Maybelline's Brow Drama Shaping Chalk Powder and Maybelline's um, Brow Precise Micro Pencil, both in the deep brown color. I am going to be trying that Shaping Chalk Powder today. 
and give you guys my first impression. But I do want to open up the Brow Precise because it has my lovely little comb. So I like to comb out my brows first. And now I'm going to use the Shaping Chalk. And I did want to say that I did receive these products complimentary to test from Influencer. Here is our little brow powder applicator on your first part of your brow and then this on the tail. Oh, whoa. Whoa. Okay. So a lot of this product came off and it dropped, which is not fun. So it definitely gave me a super bold brow, probably a little bit bolder than I wanted. And that just smeared all over all of our work that we just did with our foundation. I don't really, oh my gosh, look at that. I accidentally touched and it got all over. <sighs> I am hating this product. I don't think I'm ever gonna use it again. I mean, I'm gonna be able to go in and fix the part that got down here, but who wants to deal with this kind of thing every single day? Eesh. Super, super messy. My first impression of this is definitely a big thumbs down. So to create my look, I'm going to be using a Kat Von D's Mi Vida Logo Palette, and I love Kat Von D shadows. They're so good. To start, I am applying a little bit of Molder, which is a pretty yellow beige shadow, all over. And this is just going to give us that nice base to work with. And now for the fun part, I am using this pretty pink color Swoon. And I'm going to be applying this all over my eyelid, up into the crease, and all up around the eye, so underneath also. This color is so pretty, it reminds me of a really bright pink blush color. I'm using a Vasanti Contour Eyeshadow number 4 brush, and I'm trying the best I can to give this kind of a round look. So now, as you can see, we have that pink just built in all the way around both eyes, and that is our main center of attention. I'm also using some mascara on the top and bottom lashes, and I'm using Too Faced's Better Than Sex mascara. And since the focus of this look is the pink eyes, our lashes are going to be small. I'm using Ardell's Baby Wispy lashes, and those Baby Wispies from Ardell are pretty much the tiniest but cutest lashes ever. I'm using the Becca palette today, but I'm going to be going really light and just using a very little amount of bronzer. This look is a little bit more editorial and so really just a light, light on the bronzer. I'm using just the littlest bit of this Swoon, our eyeshadow also as blush. That's going to make it blend really nicely with our eye look. I am going to add a little bit of Laura Mercier's Indiscretion, which is actually a really subtle glow. I'm just going to add some of that right up here, the top of my cheekbones. And a little bit right above the cupid's bow. And a tiny bit on the inner corners. I'm using Lip Sense Moisturizing Lip Balm on my lips. And then I'm going back in with our Swoon Pink Shadow, picking a little bit up on my finger and applying that right to the lips. And that gives us a pink lip that matches perfectly with our eye look. And here is our final makeup look. 
I hope you enjoyed this makeup look as much as I did. I think it is a really fun, different fall beauty trend to be rocking that pink eye and the matching pink lip. It was really easy, simple, and fun, but definitely creates a striking look. So let me know in the comments below if you like this fall beauty trend, if you would try it. Also let me know what other kinds of videos you want to see. Please give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe for more product reviews and makeup tutorials. Have a beautiful week and maybe incorporate a pink eye, the makeup kind, into your look.